Okay, so boom, we are back with another video. Yes, NVIDIA skyrocketed up to the moon. Yes, we had call options on the video with the team. We played it before it happened. That's why you should be on the team so you can see. But we will talk about this whole AI boom because NVIDIA moved the whole market. It moved AMD up. It moved SMCI up. That actually hit my target. It moved the S&P 500 up, okay? It moved everything up today, and we knew that. But we also got other stocks to talk about. We got Tesla to talk about. We got oil to talk about. We got AMC to talk about. That's kind of a little laggy, broke support. We got a lot to talk about today, okay? So just make sure you stay tuned. Smash the like button. Subscribe if you are new. Let's see if y'all can do this. Let's see if you can get 200 likes in seven hours. Hmm? 200 likes in seven hours. Let's see if we can do that. Thank you guys for watching the video. Smash the like button. You know I give you the best levels in the game. And let's get straight into it. AMC broke support. So guess what? New support level now is all the way down here to about $4.20, and I'm really not looking to play AMC now, okay? I really wanted to hold up here and then push. It didn't do that, so $4.20, that's what I'm looking out for support. It needs to hold that. Other than that, I won't play it until it breaks $5.20. Bada boom, bada bing. Also, we're going to be talking about um, Bitcoin, all the Bitcoin stocks, because Bitcoin seems like it's trying to hold that support as well. GameStop, I told y'all, is very bare, so I'm just looking for that support to break at $13. I'm still looking for it to go down, but not too much you could do on GameStop right now at all. SoFi stock looks a little nasty in here. We got support around $7.70. There's nothing you could do on SoFi stock right now either, right? It really hasn't moved in over like almost two months, so just be mindful of that. SoFi stock is kind of right now, okay? Palantir stock. Same thing. I knew it was looking bearish. It fell down. We have a low support down here around $21. We also have another support around like $22.50 that could hold. But until Palantir gets out of this like $22 to $24 range, then I'll be interested in playing it once it gets to like $25. Okay, so it has to get out of this range that has kind of been building for itself. We'll kind of circle it. But it has to get out of here because right now it's just not doing much. And there's not much you could do with Palantir stock right now, right? It has to get out of this range. So once it get out of that range, then we'll have something that potentially... We can do on it, okay? DWAC actually held support perfect at $43. This is why you never miss a video. This is why you also smash that like button as fast as possible. Don't even watch the video. Just smash it because you know the video is going to be good, okay? We're already two minutes in and you haven't smashed that like button. So make sure you do that. Share the video out as well. You know I give it the best levels in the game. So $43, support hit perfect. It's not much you could do right now with DWAC, but it did hit support. Support held it. And now we're going up. But it doesn't mean there's a play on it, okay? It's just holding support. That is it. Until there's a play, I'll try to let y'all know as fast as possible. The team will know first. I am potentially looking to trade it up to about um, $60 on the higher side. So we'll see. Okay. But it has to really start pushing off of that and really start to get some legs to room. Um, legs to room. Legs to run. Let's go to Tesla stock. And then we're going to go over the whole AI boom with NVIDIA and so forth. So Tesla actually held support today. At 190, remember I told y'all, y'all had two support levels, and that was the only thing I was watching today on Tesla. Is it going to break that support, or is it going to hold that support, right? Today's low was about 191.36. It hit, my support was 190, so about a dollar off of that, right? Support held pretty good on Tesla, right here, and then it went up off of that, okay? The whole market was pretty much just bullish today because of the video, but... That's a good sign. That's what we want to see, right? I'm kind of just waiting to buy more long-term shares. I'll probably just buy more long-term shares because 190 for Tesla is very cheap. Considerable to the all-time highs is like 430-something. That's still over 100% gain back to all-time highs. But the big leap call option, I'm not so ready to get that yet because te technically Tesla has, well, not has, it is still stalled, right? So as long as you can break those supports, I'm expecting higher prices. Long-term shares, probably tomorrow. Other than that, don't really want any options just yet. Now let's go to the video, okay? Make sure you join the team. We did do a NVIDIA earnings play. There's a strike. We got about a 25% gain on NVIDIA. Uh, very good gain. I went heavy, actually. We did uh, some other scalps. I did an IWM put option scalp. I, also, I actually lost 10%. I kind of forced that one. But then I played it right again. Got the head in the game. Got in right again. Got about a 20%. So made that loss back plus more. And we also sold some oil. Remember I told you I played oil? We only got 30% left of our oil play. And that was up like 15% today as well, right? So we are green, green, green. Made about $5,000 from that NVIDIA. 1000 from IWM. WM. I also did some spy ones, but I'll just show you in the video. And then you can see up here the whole team eight. Look at the team just winning, winning. Everybody is just eating nothing but green, thousand dollar profits and crazy. So, first in our description, it's only $65 a month. You can invest about $15 a week in yourself, learn the right strategy. I send you guys what I'm looking at, strike price I'm looking to get, when I'm getting in, top plays I'm looking at for the next day, and so forth. Okay. 
If you feel price is moving fast, you need to relax. We can't control how price moves, but we can control how we react to price, what type of plays we're going to do, and we could be focused. So make sure you join first in the description. Elite year and lifetime memberships, you could do after pay. Then lifetime memberships also come with personal training. So if you want me to teach you how I find my strategies, how I find the top plays and so forth, personal training, 699 one-time fee, will not let Make sure you email me if you have any questions or anything. But first in that description, join the team, at least test it out for a month, okay? Back to the video. So boom, we played in the video, we won on the video, and the video is at all-time highs. So guess what? The video is pretty much done for me, okay? It's at all-time highs, we caught the big move, we caught the earnings play, so now we relax until the next play forms. So right now, the major thing I'm watching out for in the video is 768. So tomorrow, you want to see, right, this is a five-minute chart, if we pull down tomorrow, what happens at the support? If we pull down the support and it starts to break, we're probably going to get a deeper pull down, right? Remember last time? Oh, remember last time the video had that big boom right here, right? It really didn't fall until it broke support here and then it had a bigger pull down, right? So that's what you want to be careful of here of that bigger pull down. It's already at all time highs. So there's not really a play I can do on the video right now, right? It's just pure off AI boom. The video kill earnings. We all pretty much expected that. But NVIDIA actually brought up SMCI as well. Now, remember what I told you all about SMCI? We had a support at 740. I told y'all if support held, we were going to go to 840. That was a play I was actually looking out to do on um, SMCI. But guess what? It did it all after hours and pre-market. Look at that. Support held. And then because of NVIDIA earnings, it shot up right to 840. Right where I told y'all I was going to go. Look at that. Perfect play. That was a play I was looking out for SMCI. Now I have to wait, right? Because I didn't technically get it because it did it all when I wasn't trading, right? After hours, pre-market, and so forth. So new support on SMCI is 920. We'll put it, we'll, we'll put it at 920. We'll put it at 922. Okay. And I'm looking for the same thing here. We want to see if support holds tomorrow. We want to see what type of buying pressure. Does it stall at that support level? Like what happens at that support level tomorrow to kind of clarify if we want to start going back up to all-time highs on SMCI, which we might. Or are we going to have a bigger retracement? So the main thing I'm watching FCI is that support level 922, okay? That would kind of let us know, is it going to start going back up? Or if it breaks that support, we'll probably have a little deeper trace down, okay? But that's it. So maybe I'll get a play on SCI. Maybe I won't. The play that I really wanted happened in aftermarket and pre-market, which is okay. AMD stock broke resistance. Like I said, it did have that sympathy movement off of uh, NVIDIA. AMD stock is pretty much at all-time highs right now. Broke that resistance. So what we could do is take off resistance, move support up to about 178. And like the same thing, because now as stocks are reaching up high, support levels are going to be crucial to know if that run's going to continue or is that run going to slow down because now it's breaking key supports and we'll get bigger pull down, right? Just so you don't get caught in the wrong direction. And again, now this financial advice, all education purpose only. Don't change anything you see or here in this video. So 178 is that support level that I am watching out for. Resistance level has been broken. I don't see that as resistance on more. The only thing I'm watching right now, AMD, is support. And really the only thing you can play on AMD is these all-time highs at like 184, 92. Probably just aim for that. Probably get some profit. We'll see how it moves tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow could be risky, so just be careful. But that's probably the only thing you can really aim for right now is just breaking all-time highs and pushing up, having some extra push off that. That's AMD. Let's go to uh, the airlines real quick. Airlines finally broke resistance. So boom, that's 44.50 right there. So now what we could do is I'm going to take resistance off because I have a target of $47. But now I just need a little pull down if we can get it. We might not get it. So I'm going to put a support around 44.70. That's what I'm looking for. Um, this is UAL, by the way, but I'm watching this as a whole airline sector in total. I usually watch like one stock for the whole sector just to keep it simple. You're not watching a thousand stocks because you don't need to do all that to be profitable. But 440, 44.7, that's what I'm looking at for the airlines. The cruise lines had a little pop too. Like I said, the video moved the whole market. CCL had a nice little pop, but overall, not too much you could do with CCL. We did play CCL. They do have potentials. We played it here, then we took profit here. So I'm waiting for when I believe that next move is. But right now, we're on that downward side, right? And usually around earnings on CCL is when it has those moves, right? So as, as you could tell, look, we go back a lot. Earnings here, had to move. 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 Earnings here, had to move, and so forth, right? So that's what I'm kind of looking out for. So it might not be ready to like March, but 
We played it once. I am looking to play it again. So we will see how that kind of moves. Let's check oil. And then we'll go over the Bitcoin sector. Any stock that's not in this video you want me to add, let me know in the comment section down below. Or any stock you want me to go over again, let me know in the comment section down below, okay? And also get the video over 200 likes within seven hours. And if I'm speaking fast, that's because I'm trying to put a lot of stocks in one impact video, a lot of sectors, and I'm trying not to make the video too long, okay? So just slow it down. You can slow it down um, on that pace thingy over there. All right. So oil, OXY, like I told y'all, we already we are already out 70% of our OXY. That's why I told y'all to join the team. First in that description It's only $65 a month. Invest in yourself. See how to be consistent per week. And I'll teach you. I'll even teach you. But that's only in personal training. But see my body sales. We have private live streams. There's recorded lessons that you can watch as well that can help you to understand how the market works, and how to be consistent. It all starts with you. First in that description is right in front of you. OK, fast track. That's success. Now. OXY, I only have 30 percent left. And this is a major support level on OXY. I do not want. I repeat. I do not want $60 a break on OXY. I still believe uh, oil could reach up to higher prices, but we can't break that 60. So I have about 30% left. We did a call option play. That contract was moving crazy today, by the way. Uh, if you could tell, look at the five minute chart. It opened down, then it ran up, then it came back down. But we only have about 30% left. I am looking to play it again, but I want to see what happens at that 60, right? If we break that 60, I'm going to sell the rest of it. But if we just hold this and kind of stay above it, then I'll probably just hold it and maybe even get more. But oil looks decent to keep continue going up. Let's check um, gold, Barack gold. Coming down again, like I said, not too much with gold. I just don't want it to break 1420 of support, G-O-L-D, for Barack Gold. If it does break that, then gold might be done. I'm trying to get a reversal on it, but it's just not its just not giving me that reversal just yet, right? Watch end phase. End phase will be an interest rate type stock. So once interest rates start to come back down, maybe like the third quarter, I think they're saying like May or something like that, that's when you really see interest rates start zooming like this. So just be careful of that. Also, like Carvana, Ford. All like the car stocks, I feel like they're going to have some nice push off interest rates because interest rate affects their market because interest rates are high. People don't want to get cars and so forth. Right. So that's that market. Let's go to Bitcoin. Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin stop. OK, if you go to the hourly chart, look at Bitcoin. What has Bitcoin done for the past week, almost two weeks? Zero. OK, it has not done a thing. So can't really do much we're kind of just chilling right now right we're waiting to see what does bitcoin do we don't have no fomo we don't have no fear we don't not eager just wait we have a support level at fifty thousand eight hundred, and that hasn't broke look how many times it tested that support level here 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 it doesn't want to break so if we actually get that breakage right it comes down we actually get that breakage that's going to send some bearishness on the crypto market so you'll probably see the crypto stocks and so forth crash as well well not crash but like have a pull down as well so that's the only thing I'm watching for Bitcoin. And until Bitcoin either breaks up, I'll give you a level, actually, that I want Bitcoin to break out of. I'm going to say around 52,500. So uh, let me see. Make sure you guys smash that like button as I type this in. If you don't see it over 200 likes, make sure you uh, get it there. Thank you. Uh, what did I say? 50, oh, hold up. 52,500. 52, so here's your range that Bitcoin's in. We either need to break above here. Or even break the support. So at least we know Bitcoin is going down. You know what I'm saying? Something. Move somewhere. So these are your two major levels. And until we break that resistance with strength, that means I'm waiting on Coinbase. Yes, Coinbase moved today, but it's not really a move that I want to just buy to hold. Not yet, because Bitcoin is not really confirming. But watch 156 of support on Coinbase. I'm still looking to buy that one. Y'all know HUT. I want HUT to break $12. This is why I say that, because until it breaks $12, I feel like it doesn't want to have like a very strong run. And look, it ran and it's coming right back down, right? That's what I'm trying to save y'all from, from buying something that's just not ready to go up yet, right? So it needs to break $12. That's what I'm going to get hut. Mara, I'm not really looking to play Mara. It's kind of stuck in between a support and resistance. Here, resistance is perfect. Support's around 22. It missed it about 70 cents down here, trying to hold that. They also have earnings next week, so watch out for that. I think for Mara, you probably want to wait till earnings comes out. And then... For Riot, we already played Riot. We sold it. I think we got like a 7-ish percent gain on Riot, but I am looking to play it again. We got support at $15. It held that beautiful today. If we go down to the five-minute chart, that's why you never miss a video. Look at that. Perfect hit of support. Went up. You know, I know I give you guys the levels beforehand. So Riot did good, but again, not ready yet until Bitcoin's break out of that. Last time we broke, I mean, last time we bought Riot was in here. That's because Bitcoin was showing strength. The market was showing strength. Everything looked good, and that's when we caught that move of Riot, right? So we got to wait again uh for riot rum stock 
stuck between a support and resistance. It really doesn't get interested until it breaks that 820 of resistance. So kind of watch that. Hood stock is up. It is at my target of $14. That's why I told y'all that it's probably going to go. So hood stock actually has a bigger target. Okay. And that's like at $20 and above. So we have time to kind of play hood stock. It's just not ready yet, but so far it's doing pretty good. Um, Mullen stock in the gutters needs to pass $11 for me to be interested in it. Neo stocks in the gutter. I wouldn't trade this one no time soon. Lucid stocks in the gutter. Wouldn't trade that no time soon. Testing that support at 305. Seemed like it might want to break that. So just be careful. Rivian stock. We knew that bad boy is going to crash off earnings. So got to stay away from that. Then, um, yeah. So thank you guys for watching the video. Always remember, no to a of ours. So anything just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. I will catch you guys in that next one.